GLG 680 kilo machine. We have a rough terrain machine running on hydraulic with a scissor who is going straight up and down. We have this side swing so we can swing the boom. We have a double telescopic boom going in and out. We have the 3D head, we had the vacuum boom, and today we have mounted with a suction disc. Behind the machine here, you see we have a platform, we have power steering, so it's very easy for you to move around with the machine. And back here, we have the remote control. This machine is running every function with the remote. So you can go in front of the machine, you can go on side of the machine, you can go uh, around the machine so you can see exactly what you're doing. The scissor is built like it's going straight up and down and it's going on more than four meters up. We can tilt the boom, so you can put the boom down. You have the telescopic going out, first one boom and then the other boom. And you can control it 100% with the remote. You can go underneath the floor, so if you have to install glass on the floor, it's very easy for you to control. I lift it up again. I bring the boom up, so it's horizontal. We lift the head up. As you can see, the 3D head is going up like this. So if you have to install something inside a building, you can easily bring it up like this. Because the machine is going straight up and down, then it's easy for you. And here you have a lot of options. So you can tilt it. So now look at the boom, swing it. It's actually turning to both sides. This is also give you an option to swing it on side of the machine. So if you have to do an installation on side of the machine, you can do that. You can work with all the function at the same time. We have a black circuit and a red circuit. If there is something wrong with the vacuum system, there is two systems. If one is down, the other one is taking over. As you can see, it's actually a small machine. So it, you can bring it into a very small area. And because you can control everything in front of the machine and go around it, then you have an option to go and do the inside out installation. So if you have to put the glass inside the frame, it's very easy for you to control it. And if you look a little bit down, you can see we have an attachment. So you can pull your trailer, or if you have a glass trolley, it's easy to connect on this hook and move it with you when you have to go and do the installation. So today we have mounted normal suction disc on. And as you can see, the suction disc can go in and out. There is a spring in behind, so we don't damage the glass. We have put this extra attachment on, so you can have all your extra equipment on. But you can also put stone suction disc or small suction disc. It depends on what you do. It's really easy to connect and disconnect. One of them, take it off. You can easily take the aluminium boom off so we don't run with vacuum. And then you can put the grabber, i show you. It's 
it's easy to connect uh, all the extra equipment. So just add it on and I will show you how to do it. So here in the back, we have the counterweights down here, and I will tell you a little bit about how we work with the, with the remote. You can see all the functions is up here. So one of the panels here is going forward and backward, and the more you pull it, the faster the machine is running. Here you can step it up five times. So you can actually go very, very, very slowly with the machine. So if you are in the beginning, it's easy for you to control it. We have on and off here. We have the vacuum system on here. So attached to the glass is just to press one of them. Now it's trying to catch the glass and you can see something is wrong here. Now we close it again. Now we can see it building up the vacuum inside the tanks here. All this time, so if you have mounted the glass on the suction disc, it will stay there. 